Why am I feeling more and more anxious all the time? I'm Dr. Trish Lee, let me answer that question for you. Now, science shows that anxiety for the majority of the people in the world is increasing from year to year. It's just out of control. And let me tell you the number one reason why anxiety is increasing for you and for just about everybody else is that now the media and social media are on 24 seven. We live differently than our ancestors lived. And what that means is there is something stressful happening in the world at all times that it's been that way since the beginning of time, but now it's showing up in your newsfeed. It's popping up on the front of your phone. And so it feels like there's constantly something to worry about. And honestly, there could be if that's the mode that you get your brain in. Now, the reason that your brain will seek it out if you are watching the news or you're constantly going on social media to see what's happening and all those things are negative, it creates a negative feedback loop. Now, especially when it comes to anxiety, what's happening is anxiety comes from high beta extra fast speed in your brain. So it becomes problem seeking mode. And so if your brain is in that mode of anxiety and stress and overdrive and overwhelm, it will look for more and more of it. It actually becomes difficult for your brain to just exist in joy or in a calm and relaxed world because it needs to seek out a problem and find a problem, not find a solution. So when you're in anxiety mode, your brain actually wants more anxiety. As much as you may not want it as a person, your brain is craving it because it will complete the negative feedback loop. Now, the way that you can, the number one thing you can do to get over that is turn off the media. Stop listening to all the bad things that are going on in the world. You can go online and there is a website for good news. And actually you can find a few of them. And if you go to my website at drtrishley.com, I link through to that website and some of my blog posts because look for good news. What your brain focuses on, it will want more of. So when you are finding joy in the little things and you're avoiding putting anything negative into your brain, you will begin to create a positive feedback loop. So when fun, little, joyful things happen in my life, I take a moment to recognize them. And of course, I've trained myself to do that now, so I am recognizing those moments all the time within my day. But I will tell you, I never watch the news. And some of my patients have criticized me for having ostrich syndrome, which I'm a-okay with, uh, because it means that I put my head and I bury it in the sand. I'm aware of what's happening in the world, but I don't let it into my brain pattern or into my psyche and my demeanor at all. That way I'm able to keep my brain calm and focused and remember brain's a tune, which means if you're near me, you're going to become more calm and focused because my brain will help you get there. I know that that's my role in the anxiety in the world is to try to shift brains out of that anxiety mode one at a time. And hopefully I can do it with my videos too by teaching you. Okay, so if you can't use that tip, if you turn off the news and your brain is still on fire, you're probably a candidate for neurofeedback brain training where we shift your brain out of that mode. Then you can start using the tips to make sure that that positive feedback loop becomes instilled. Okay, remember, control your brain or it'll control you.